Welcome back. We're continuing the news. The Ministry of Finance today announced that the government will no longer be drawing down on the funds to pay the salaries of Stocks and Securities Limited SSL employees. This after the company received a massive insurance payout. Now, while the opposition describes the development as timely, it still has questions. Jamila Maitland has our story. The Stocks and the Securities Limited SSL saga has taken another turn. SSL received the insurance payout of one million US dollars on Thursday, September 7th, which enabled SSL to settle the remainder of their August staff salary bill. With this new development, no taxpayer money, no Government of Jamaica resources, no public funds have or will be used to support SSL in the payment of any of its employees or any other of its expenses. Earlier this month, the government announced that it would pay the salaries of 22 employees because SSL's income could not support its overhead costs. This was met with public outrage. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark clarified the government's position, explaining that the funds being used are technically not taxpayers, but the assets seized from illicit enrichment cases. But that didn't sway the public either. No, opposition spokesman on finance Julian Robinson says this news is much more comforting. Yes, it is a relief to the public that we will no longer have to foot the bill um, for the, the salaries of the employees. But we need full transparency. Mr. Robinson, however, has some questions. Will the government be refunded for all the expenditures that have been undertaken to support the SSL investigation? Not just the payment of the staff salaries, but the receiver funds, the funds to pay the forensic auditing firm, and any other costs that would have been incurred either by the FSC and the FID. I believe it's important for the government to also be fully transparent and indicate to the public what it has spent so far on this investigation so that the public knows. But what does the insurance payout mean for clients of SSL? Citizens with U.S. dollar accounts, however, will take a longer time to access their funds. And as the investigation continues, the finance minister anticipates that the company will wind down to about eight employees by the end of the year. And as it relates to who has complete authority over SSL, well, according to the finance minister, that's a matter for the courts. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.